Hello and welcome to this week's special edition of Bondi Snapshot. Now there's been a lot of talk about the professionalism of the industry of real estate and today we are joined by the amazing Leanne Pilkington, President of the REI New South Wales and Managing Director of Langen Simmons. Hello Leanne and thank you so much for joining us down here at the North Bondi Surf Club. Absolute pleasure, thanks for having me. Now tell us about your journey, real estate president of the REI New South Wales. You're doing an amazing job. It's obviously been a very interesting time traversing the whole COVID thing. I guess let's start with how that's been for the REI and for the real estate industry. It's been really interesting, but the great thing is that uh, the REI have got a direct line for government. So when Scott Morrison came out and said, there'll be no evictions in the next six months and everybody you know, in the industry went into panic and tenants started to have rent strikes and all this kind of ridiculous stuff. We were able to communicate directly with government mm. and get the information that we all needed. And, um, and I just started, social media is a beautiful thing, yeah. um, I just started communicating every day. Tell me a little bit about your journey. You're um, president of the REI New South Wales, but also managing director of Langen Simmons. That's right. Yep. Yeah, so how did you get into real estate? I started as a 12 year old answering the phone in my dad's real estate business. Yeah. Um, so it's in the blood. In the blood, yes. And so I was selling real estate at a very young age. Mm. Um, and there were no women back in the 80s selling mm. real estate other than my mum. My mum was a real estate agent as well. God bless. Yeah, and my brother and sister are both. Wow, the whole agents. family. The whole family, yeah. I became a valuer. I studied mm. three nights a week for four years to become a valuer. Never practiced as a valuer, but mm. I. You know, real estate agents can be quite derogatory about their competition and I was always the pretty little thing. Oh. Um, and so to, um, to combat being the pretty little thing at, you know, 18 or 19, I just worked really hard and I studied hard and I, I became more qualified than any of my um, competitors. So. Hence your profession and the, the move towards professionalism. I think that yeah. is very important. And so Lang and Simmons moved on to? Um, yeah, so I was a shopping centre manager actually before oh. I went to Lang and Simmons. And I started in Lang and Simmons in 1995, I know, um, as the franchise administrator. Mm. And I worked my way up, mm. basically. And the biggest lesson that I ever had was when the business was sold to Rob Farrell and Tony Anderson in 1997. Um, the outgoing owner, unbeknownst to me, actually said to, um, said to Rob and Tony, whatever you do, don't lose Leanne, she's mm. the one who's running the place. Now I never knew that that man had any idea what I did day to day. So it was a lesson to me that it's the things that you do when nobody else is looking, mm. when you don't realise anybody else is looking, that, that takes you on your own sort of leadership journey. And one of the things you've done, which I'm really proud of in real estate, is, is the focus on women in real estate. Yeah. How have you seen women's role in real estate change? Well, massively, mm. um, but still, there's still not enough um, leaders. You know, I'm still the only woman in so many meetings that I go to that it's crazy. So I have got the Real Women in Real Estate group, as you know, and really that's just all about encouraging women to put their hands up, yes. encouraging them to have the confidence. Would you have some advice for some young women out there who are considering real estate as a career? Real estate's an incredible career option for, um, for anybody mm -hmm. really, but what people need to understand is that it's really hard work. Yes. Um, and so yes, it can be very lucrative. Mm -hmm. However, what they see is the top yes. um, percentage. And so they need to understand that Houses don't just come to you mm. to be sold. You actually have to go find and them. find them and you have to develop relationships in the community and you have to use your network and you have to be prepared to pick up the phone mm. and speak to people. And have very efficient systems and yeah. Totally, mm. yeah, there's a lot that goes on in the background. Um, but if you're prepared to work hard, if you're good with people, mm. um, if you're willing to be coached, because we've got some incredible coaches and trainers in the real estate industry, all of the information is out there if only you're prepared to actually implement. Yeah. As Michael Sheargold says, the power of an idea is in its implementation, yeah. right? All the information's there, you've just got to make it happen. Well, Leanne, look, it's a really exciting time for real estate, and I think it's a really exciting time for lots of industries. How do you see real estate going forward? What's our future hold? Yeah, it's going to be really, really interesting. I think there's going to be a lot of change mm. in a lot of areas of the way we do business. Mm. What happens later in the year, I could dust off my crystal ball, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, interest rates are at record lows. Yeah. Um, we've still got strong demand, and I think 
Given how well Australia has handled the whole COVID situation, I think we're going to be looking at um, a lot of people wanting to come back home to Expats. Australia. Yes, yep. that's what we've been hearing. Yeah, mm. for sure. And I think there'll be a lot of people wanting to come to Australia in the long term. So I, um, I think we're in for a really interesting time. Excellent. Leanne, thank you so much for joining us here and please keep up the good work um, leading the real estate industry. You're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you so much and thanks for having me. Ah, thank you.